Okay, in this video we're going to do a um, tutorial for SketchUp or any other CAD program to draw a truncated icosahedron, oftentimes called the buckyball. It's a very common shape, same shape as footballs, um, and it's, it's a well-known shape, but you might not know exactly how to draw it. Let's first look at um, why it's called a truncated icosahedron. The reason being is it started life as an icosahedron. Uh, I have a tutorial on that and I'll link down to that in the description. So you would start with an icosahedron and then you would truncate it. Uh, let me just show you what's involved with truncation. Okay, this is the process of truncation. Uh, you start with a parent polyhedron. Um, in our case, it's the icosahedron, but this one shows a cube just for ease. Uh, and you start by, you start with a vertex, corner, let's call it the corner, and you slice the corner off. Now you slice the corner off the same distance from the corner down each edge. So if you did a quarter, that would be you'd take a quarter of the edge length, and that's where you would make your slice. Two thirds is a bit more, so you'd make a slightly bigger slice. And three quarters is you'd take three quarters of the edge and join them together to make a slice. It's like cutting the corners off. Uh, and when you get to um, all the way down the whole length of one strut, so uh, one edge here, if you rectify straight down, you're basically um, drawing lines straight across this angle and you end up with a, a rectified shape, which is a 100% um, truncation. Right. Let's get back to this. Okay, now we know what a truncation is. We can still call this the buckyball. It was it's um, named after Buckminster Fuller, and I think it's fine to call it the buckyball. Uh, we'll start, and I'll demonstrate from the icosahedron. Okay, here we have our icosahedron. Uh, I'll link this in the description. And we'll show you how to build this using three um, golden rectangles. Super easy. Right, what we did with this one was we made each face a component. Uh, so we can change a component and all of the other faces will change with it. This is super handy when doing this. Right, what we'll do is get a one that we can see the right way up and we'll double click it. Uh, right, now we're editing this face and all of the other faces the same. Now a truncated icosahedron, although it says truncated, it doesn't tell you how, how what it's truncated to, um, but I happen to know that it's a 33.33 recurring percent um, or one third truncation. So if this edge here, we have to divide that into three. And there's a number of ways we can do that. We can do it mathematically, we can do it by measurement, We'll measure this side. Now that we're not edit editing, we'll do the whole thing, you see. And we'll do it with uh, three, with three, with five notes. Uh, resize it. Yep. Right. It's resized a wee bit, but we've got an exact edge length. Uh, and I'm going to do this without editing the um, face first. Length. 1,000 we need, no, 1,000, 10,000 I think, yeah, 10,000, let's just make that 10,000, and you can see that we have a line, 10,000, uh, SketchUp will automatically snap to 10,000 if, you, if you're using that measurement. This is not necessarily the best way, but um, I'm in a rush. There's probably better ways of dividing it into three. Right, we've done that. So we've got we've got all our ten thousands marked. We'll edit this now. We should be able to hover and snap endpoint on those ten thousands. So what we're wanting to do is cut the corner off uh, at a third. Right. There we go. So, and you can see it appearing in the other ones. And then we take our rubber and we 
rub out the corners because that's effectively what truncation is it's cutting the corners off right looks a bit messy at this stage what I'll do is I'll get rid right there you go what so all we've done is we've cut the uh, corners off of it at 33% of the way down that leaves a uh, hexagon and you can see we've pretty much cracked it already uh, I'll draw this in oops right this is our uh, face we need to make a component of this uh, there we go. Edit, make a component, and we'll call that pen face. Create. I'm going to color code this just for ease. We'll do. Uh, we'll do the pentagon face yellow. And we'll do the uh, this one red. That's my that's my normal color code for it. I don't know. I just like to do it that way. Right. So we have one face uh, in there. So remember what we did with all the other shapes is we take this shape and we rotate it around to fill the holes in basically. Now there's there's a number of uh, ways you can do that. Let's uh, put this right at the top. If we put it at the top, we we know that we need to get one. If you imagine that's this, you can just see it at the very top there. You might we've got to drop one into this row and repeat it around, and then drop a one into this row, repeat it around, then drop one upside down. So we have the middle marked. We can rotate from the middle here, and um, click and hold, and it'll orientate your rotate like a little axle. Center here, up up here, Alt to repeat it and spin it round. That's your second layer. You can see uh, just how easy it is. It's, it doesn't take a lot of... Uh, I'm not being on my best form and it's quite simple to make. Uh, it looks reasonably complicated, but I'm going to do more comp more and more complicated structures. But uh, that's super easy. Um, and that's accurate. Again, you would uh, explode this via, via this. Edit. Entities. Explode. There you go, and just check that everything's uh, joined together by using the I use the move tool, and if everything comes with it, it's all joined together. Obviously, undo that um, explode so that it is all in uh, components because you can make other component other um, polyhedrons from this one, but it's much handier if you have the original components in place okay, there you go because once you once you uh, edit one um, you can edit edit all of them at, one, at the same time okay thanks for watching um, I'll do some more like this so uh, subscribe if you want to see more how-to tutorials on geometry uh, and I'll see you in the next one